Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today in this short video lecture, I will guide you for ground floor plan. As you can see guys, these are column positioning. Next guys, you can see here, this is footing plan. And the other one guys, you can see this is foundation plan. Okay, so this is the topic for today. So how to read <clears throat> these details, uh, especially for ground floor footing and also for foundation plan if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free this is my contact number okay let's get start guys if you see guys here this is classroom and its total length is 27 feet and 3 inches here guys we have four columns at this side at uh, left side if you see the one column spacing to the other one is from center to center a to b length is eight feet and six inches from b to c the length is eight feet and six inches from c to d the, le uh, the length is nine feet but this is by center line method okay this is its width width is 17 feet 1.5 inches so this is one two so one to two column the spacing is 17 feet and 1.2 inches the other two to three guys you can see this is the spacing the other spacing you can see but each column is on the center line to each other okay if you see guys on the other side uh, from d to e the uh, spacing is 11 feet and 1.5 inches if you you can see this is its length for this staircase which is 17 feet here guys you can see uh, the wall thickness is 4.5 inches trade is 11 inches and riser is 6 inches between the spacing or uh, handrail you can see this is 4.5 inches space okay next each flight width is five feet this is also five feet and you can see this is a rim and uh, the rim guys you can see this is uh, uh, its length is uh, 15 feet you can see clearly on the other side guys you can see the riser trade also you can see for this steps one two three four steps we have uh, and you can see the column positioning these are windows etc on the other side guys you can see let me show you its footing so what is the size of footing uh, that's why because for uh, for each column we have uh, different types of footing that's why because uh, it's depend on the structure load according to the structure load uh, we decided the uh, size of footing depth of footing also its steel reinforcement etc if you see guys here the spacing is close to each other so therefore six feet six feet the other one is about nine feet this is 11 feet so therefore guys you can see this is continuous footing so therefore this is called f2 so this is continuous footing the other side guys you can see from d to uh, e so the spacing is 11 feet so therefore guys uh, they provided individual footing so the size of this individual footing is six feet and eight inches you can see clearly on the other side guys you can see the spacing is uh, maximum compared to this one so this is eight feet ten feet eight feet five inches but this one you can see this is six feet uh, eight feet this is also eight feet so therefore guys you can see the, these are combined footing and connected by a strip uh, so this is also called a strip footing okay connected by a beam inside uh, they will provide the steel reinforcement so this is footing three footing three footing three on this section all are footing three and this one is continuous footing so therefore this is uh, footing two are combined footing you can also say because uh, uh, two are more than two columns that is also called combined footing next guys you can see the same uh, spacing you can see here so the spacing is close to each other so therefore this is also footing two so the size of footing two width of footing two uh, depth of footing two everything is uh, same with each other according to the structure load this is also footing three that's why because spacing is close for each other and next guys uh, if you see the footing uh, let me show you the details here let me focus the camera so if you see guys here the footing uh, one or footing three uh, depth is 18 inches and uh, uh, the other footing is nine inches that's why only this strip okay so this is a nine inches depth so now let me show you the column positioning also inside this footing guys you can see these are columns if you see the first page so look here these are column positioning so the column positioning inside this footing you can see clearly guys the spacing etc everything is perfect according to the structure load also its spacing so individual footing size is six feet look here six feet and two inches also this is six feet and two inches 
if you see this one so this is combined footing so this is 33 feet 7.5 inches the other one is also but uh, this structure uh, according to the structure load uh, these footing sizes and its depth is designed for three story residential building so guys this is a short video to guide you for uh, <coughs> foundation plan also for footing plan and ground floor plan hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video Goodbye.